garden with the scarecrow. Come out. And we have a trap in our big garden, as you can see. And there's a baby. Maybe not a baby bird, but there's a bird in there. So I'm going to try to help him out and let him out. Hi, baby bird. Hi, birdie. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a look at everything. Everything is very, very wet because it's been raining like nonstop for the last three or four days now. I think we're on a third day. I'm not real sure. But I'm just going to go ahead and give you a overview of everything in here. So you can just have an idea as to what it looks like right now. Look like, and they have been producing multiple multiple beans. Um, a lot of them have been harvested. I think we've harvested two or three bags full of green beans, which is all right with me because I love green beans. Um, but yeah, and we have, with all of our produced um, vegetables, we've actually had to go and take them to my grandma's, and taking them to my grandpa's. Here's the tomato plants. There's the scarecrow with no face yet. <laughs> but like I said, everything is very, very wet, so nothing's really happening right now we're not outside harvesting anything just because everything is so wet so here's our peppers here's the back of the scarecrow here's what we have left for onions um there are some weeds because again we have not been out here uh, here's a humongous tomato plant, baby tomato plant, I guess. Um, here's a corn, that's what a corn's looking like. Yeah, so this is what this basically looks like right now. Oh, I guess I got a couple of carrots growing. Uh, there's more down in mine than up here. But yeah, here's just an overview look. That's my mom's garden over there. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm just editing this. Um, But the next clip you'll see is all of the rainy things that are not in the vegetable garden um that's all caged off um next year we are gonna cage everything um and we might make it a little smaller just a little bit not a lot um but that's what you'll be seeing now so here's a cucumber which daisy just walked away uh but that's a cucumber that one right there is a cucumber, and then behind it is melons. As you can see, there's a melon right there. Um, and then over here is watermelons, which you can see there's three right there. There's two, one, two, there's one big one over there. Uh, those are pumpkins. Those are the big pumpkins. Um, the little pumpkins are over here. Like, that's the little pumpkin. And then there's another little pumpkin right there behind that big one. But yeah, that's what this got, or this stuff is kind of looking like.
Also, I can't tell you how many or uh, how much stuff we have canned. We have done uh, two doses of like tomato juice. Um, we've done two doses of turning cucumbers into pickles. Um, also, we have done salsa. Um, but yeah, we've done a lot of canning. And then also, we have done, uh, we did up most of our potatoes. Hi. <laughs> it's not digged. It's dug. We dug up most of our potatoes. I have very bad grammar. I don't know why. But it's not dig, it's dug. That we started on, of course, you guys already know, Good Friday is when we planted them. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the five hills. There is one hill we did not dig up because it is semi still alive. Um, but let me go ahead and show you how many potatoes we actually got. This isn't all of them. We've already taken a little bag down gift to my grandma. So these are not all of them, but these are some of them. So this whole egg basket that we got from my grandpa's when he, my great grandpa's, not my grandpa's, my great grandpa's when he died, uh, we actually took these egg baskets. We have two of them. Um, but this was full up to the room before, but like I said, we took some to my grandma. So, to enjoy. But yeah, that's how many potatoes we have now. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please stop and subscribe. Um, also, with that being said, um, I hope you guys have a more amazing day, a more amazing night, whatever it is. Make it more amazing, guys.